briefly, I think a really important part of this process that Sitka really helped us understand was uh, the need to engage stakeholders, the districts that are participating to make sure people not only understand why we're doing this, but feel that they can be a part of the process, uh, whether or not they have you know, extreme capacity to do so or limited capacity um, that outreaching in different ways um, and, and providing different opportunities to give feedback and uh, try their own projects was really important. So to that end, we just made sure that the development process was really transparent, that anybody could participate that wanted to uh, try to create meeting opportunities, uh, multiple kinds of meeting opportunities for people to engage in. And then also uh, the two original RCDs that really got this started, um, took a lot of opportunity to present at regional meetings and annual RCD conferences where they could reach a large number of board members um, and staff members who may or may not have already started engaging. Um, and then we also, Brian was talking about the ability to, um, to suggest administrative changes. I think people that are on the admin team um, for the RCD project tracker have a really great response time and we receive auto responses when our work is requested. They get right back to us um, with an email that says they've done it. We've got a link to the changes. So I feel like you can really see that your suggestions and your, your work is being listened to and implemented. Yeah, absolutely. And then just, I think, uh, you know, my final, you know, just kind of statement on this, I wanted to make sure, and uh, you can definitely, you know, ask Brian and I for more information, but for the IERCD, I think we're getting more and more requests for, you know, in, in our transparency process, what are we doing? How are we doing it? How well are we doing it? Um, not hearing explanations, but numbers, people reached acres conserved you know, uh, acre feet of water um, improved. I think we wanna make sure that, um, you know, we're able to give those answers on a group basis uh, with consistent um, backed up data. And that's something that uh, the project tracker has really enables, enabled um, us to do communication with public and partners on the really quality work that we do. Um, RCDs have always been called the best kept secret in conservation, and we don't want to be that. We want to be the, the obnoxious, you know, braggart um, group <laughs> of, of districts that make sure people know what we're doing. Uh, not really, but I mean, we, we want to make sure people know, and this tracker allows for that. So it's been that really valuable process. Mm -hmm. 